Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here, and it's time for some more of my original Risen Let's Play. This is episode 12, and we are in Harbor Town, ladies and gentlemen. Harbor Town, and we are going to, well, I guess get a lay of the land. I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know that we necessarily know what we're doing just yet, but we should probably chug from the water barrel. Seems like a good idea. And once we are done drinking, we will drink again, and again, and again, and again, until we're finally fully healthy. Or healed, or however you'd like to say it. That's the goal. Anyhow, it's probably going to take me a little bit of time to figure out exactly what's going on in Harbor Town. It's been quite a while since I played the game, guys. So, both from the last episode to this episode, and from the last time I played, I remember Harbor Town took a pretty big chunk of time, and some nasty stuff happened here. So, we'll see exactly what happens now. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little, excuse me, extra sniffly. Hey, hey, you don't get any water. It's my water. I'm a little extra sniffly and stuffy today because we did a lot of, by we I mean me, I did a lot of work in uh, in our basement, cleaning up stuff, moving boxes around, and, uh, well, it's dusty. So I've been sneezing and sniffling and had runny nose pretty much the last five, six hours. It's been unpleasant, but it is what it is, and hopefully everything pans out. We'll see, though. We shall see. Alright, well, there's a basic chest here that will probably get me murdered if I open it, so... Let's see if I'm right. Nope. Nope, okay, apparently they just randomly have chests laying around. Okay. <clears throat> well, I imagine that at some point I need to talk to somebody about something. Right now? I don't know where to begin. But not doing anything is not really a good place to begin, so... Hey, wait oh, a minute. Here we go. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This Yay. is your lucky day because I have one perfect piscine offer for you. Ooh. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely free. Sounds Two fish for the pretty price good. Of one. Sounds like a good deal. All right. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught and place so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? Huh? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit. And you look like you could do with that. So could everybody else, huh? Eh? Show me your fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Let's see here. All of that looks delicious, I guess. I want the herring. I want a uh, herring. Good choice, I think. Two herring for you. I think. All right, well, we're gonna go back and. You're pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Oh, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with uh. this wench. She said she liked fish, and then, oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the stores, <laughs> there aren't even many fish being caught. Okay. Why don't you sell the store, then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish store? See? That's what I should have said to myself. But that wench was so very beautiful. <laughs> Women. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this store. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. Okay. How much do you want to sell for? How much do you want to sell Boom. your store for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. Holy crap. All right. Well, that's that. All right. I'll find you a buyer for your store. Wonderful. Wonderful. Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk or crazy or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. Drunk, crazy, loves fish. You, my all over it. Here. Have a shark steak on the house. Oh, and I just bought the stupid heron. Dang it. All right. Well, we'll end that. So, apparently he wanted to kidnap me and force me into such things. A warrior of the order. That looks unpleasant. We have Sid and Sid's girlfriend. Or mother or wife or something. I don't know. Hey, there's a prostitute. Hello. She's blowing a shell. Hmm. No words. There's the farmer's wife. And we have a ship's officer. And apparently something that looks like it's going to kill me. 
though I doubt it. We are inside of a city. Most of the time, things don't kill you in cities. Most of the time. Not always, though. Either way, we're going to continue on, and we're going to try to... Well, I don't know. I have quite a few goals in, in order right now, or in place, I suppose. Um, fell behind this week where I wanted to be recording, but I'm still ahead, so that's always a good sign. I want to be about two weeks ahead so I can just have certain days and times and whatever where I just don't have to do anything and we're set. The only downside is the Dota 2 you pick, we play. That seems to have a a definite maybe. No, uh, it seems to have me in a specific position. And that position, I gotta say, is not super fantastically fun. Hey you! In, huh. What are you doing hanging around here? Exploring. Here of interest for passers by. Okay. All right. I'm not going to cause any trouble. Good. Go on then, and stay out of trouble. There's lots of it about. Let's what see is what it is guarding? he's guarding. We've got a VIP in there. Captain Romanov is in that cell. You must have heard of him. Scourge of the high seas. Nope. So, where have you been? He terrorized most of the islands around here. So? Okay. Did Romanov work alone? What happened to his crew? With the storms out to sea, they'll be laying low in the town, hiding from the Inquisition. Interesting. Why didn't the Order take Romanov to the monastery like all the others? I haven't the foggiest. Huh. The white robes don't tell people, but I like it that way. The less I know, the more I can keep my head down. That's a good, good philosophy. I like it. Can I talk to Romanov? You can, but he won't hear, because he's in the cell and you're staying out here. And the key to his cell is staying in my pocket. Got that? I got it. Thank you. Ooh, I could just say, hey. Hmm. So, what do you want to let me in? I... All the other town guards are having hmm. a great time in the tavern or at Sonia's. The island's falling apart while they party. But I'm not allowed to leave my it's post. Unfortunate. I've been here for days. Wet, cold, knackered. Romanov may be important, but he's not going anywhere. Eh. The only person to give me the time of day is you. And you're not exactly a sight for sore eyes. See, now he's but calling me ugly I mean, again. If one Gosh. of Sonia's girls came up here, then, hey, the two of us could make a bit of a party. Yeah, they could. All right. Tell you what. I'll send one of Sonya's girls over. In return, you let me talk to Romanov. Hmm. Well. Yep, it's a deal. <laughs> Be quick, though. Oh, and don't bring a girl with a face like a smashed crab. Oh. Well, the deal's off. Lovely. Anyhow, uh, the Dota 2 thing. Uh, you, basically, you guys get to vote until Sunday on the heroes that we'll play, and then on Monday, Mutana and I actually play said heroes. Now the problem with that is it doesn't really leave me time to do anything else. Like I can't get ahead in that one. I have to do that on Mondays every week. Which is okay, but just be aware there may be a time where I am unable to do that. And if that's the case, you guys are just going to have to put up with it. Just saying. Just saying. It is a very real possibility. I think I beat this guy up before. It was very difficult and didn't end well for me. Who are you? You're Anika. Alright, well, I've kind of walked around half the town so far. Let's continue around, see what's going on. This is just going to be kind of a peaceful exploratory uh, episode, I guess. Best way to say it. These two guys seem uh, engaged in some sort of a discussion there. We have order, Warrior of the Order, Warrior of the Order, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, yes. Come over here and see what's going on. A lot of nothing still, it seems. There's a treasure chest. Who could teach me to pick locks? But we do not have lock picking abilities yet, which is okay. But yes, being ahead is sweet, sweet, nice. So my goals are as follows: try to get through Risen One in a relatively quick order. It doesn't have to be like the most ridiculously fast thing ever, but in a relatively quick speed would be nice. Kind of get done rather rapidly, and then um, 
hopefully get into Risen 2, if not beat it, before Risen 3 is done. But I don't want to leave Risen 3 like a once every two week type situation. This place is very confusing. Um, I'd like to still play that once or twice a week, if I can. So, that's kind of the forefront of my thinking right now, is how do I get through Risen 1 rapidly and still not neglect Risen 3, because it's the newer game. People would be probably more interested in it than Risen 1, though there's no way to be absolutely certain. And then into Risen 2. Now, in addition to that, I have several other things that I'm also doing. And, well, I gotta say, I'm slowly starting to get through a few of them. Ooh, a skeleton with a shovel. Nice. And is there... Ooh, there's a place a to dig, too. A little more for me. All right. I'm finally learning how to play The Last Federation, which is nice. In fact, of the videos and episodes that I've recorded, I'm actually nearly done with the game. So that's pretty sweet. And, yeah, after, like, episode 6, I started really figuring things out, and it all makes so much more sense now. So I kind of want to get The Last Federation knocked out and done and over with, which would be pretty cool. That'll clear up a little bit more of the schedule, and you guys will be able to see things more frequently, as opposed to having more things to see. I think that's better. I think I went a little a little overboard. I extended a little too much. Alright, I think I can wear two rings, though I'm not 100% certain. Let's find out. Yep, looks like I can. Alright. So now I can sneak, but I don't know how to. Oh, there we go. It's a control. I'm just gonna sneak right in front of this guy. What's up? Bolt. You're not coming in here. Why not? What's this building? It's our guardhouse, and the headquarters of Carlos, ah. the commandant of the town. What are you looking for, stranger? If you Money. need food or aid, then Brother Belshaw's your man. Ooh. You'll find him in the gutters, taking care of the needy. Huh. How did you become a warrior of the Order? I volunteered. Conscripts usually get sent to the temple ruins after training. I'd rather take guard duty in town any day of the week. They actually tried to make me become a mage. A mage? <laughs> I mean, really? All that messing around with magic. It's not natural. No kidding. Alright, well, I don't want to talk to your boss just yet. But maybe eventually one day I wouldn't mind it. So, The Last Federation, I'm pretty excited. I want to finish that off and post that up and get it done and over with. Because, like I said, it'll free up the schedule a little bit. I want to play more of uh, Lords of Shulama. I haven't quite finished that yet. And then we have Grimrock that I started recently. There's a bunch of stuff going on, and I'm trying to stay ahead of everything. And I'm, I'm succeeding, but barely right now. I'm barely ahead of the curve. So if I can stay a little further ahead of the curve and start finishing off a few things, I will be pretty darn happy. This all looks very familiar, but I don't remember why. I think I upset the guard in this place at one point. Maybe you have to. I don't know. Somewhere around here, there should also be... Hey, the smith's servant. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to the beginning of the town. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for what's going on, look around and see. Walter the smith, whetstone and anvil, a water trough, townswoman and then that guy, another brogard lookalike. Okay, Marcelo. And what oh, are you doing? Hernandez is like no. Let me guess, you're lost, right? Yeah, I am. I'm just passing by. Then I'd just keep on doing that if I were you. I don't know you. Make sure I don't need to get to know you. Oh, really? Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the Order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. Goes by the name of Tony. Isn't the sharpest tool in the box. He's been hanging around for days. Thinks I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out, waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity, but I can't leave my post. Huh. Well, good to know. Alright, I'm going to back out of this area. I'm going to go back to the beginning of town. We'll look around, see if we can grab up a couple quests, and maybe get at least something to accomplish this particular episode. Hey, it's a weasel. Interesting name. Oh, my goodness, that was my stomach. I don't know if you guys heard that through the mic. Oh. And that spicy uh, Italian sausage in my stomach are not enjoying each other. My stomach's like, what are you doing inside of me? And the spicy Italian sausage is, mon ami, I don't... Actually, that might be French. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of throwing my... Oh, there's Edgar over there and another whetstone. 
I'm throwing all my uh, my accents together, and it's it's not really working out for me. Just saying. Hello, anybody in here? Ooh, there's a, sh a clam shell and a wolf skin and a bone. I can make a, a slingshot with that. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Ah, huh, some mint. Mmm, mint. There's a bed and a chair and stuff. And fried herring that I'm totally not going to steal. Eh. It's fried herring. Wah. Hey, Jack's key. I just found Jack's key. I don't know what that means, but I'm a hero. Alright, weird things. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, I almost fell off the... Actually, I don't think I could, but... It certainly looked like I almost fell, eh? Eh? No? Yes? Maybe? Who are you? You're Jack. Hi, Jack. Well, my lad. What can old Jack do for you? Oh, you're Jack? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper, now Jack the old beachcomber. Nice. Seems the sea won't let me go. Okay. Hmm. So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. Oh, that makes the sense. storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? True. No, wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches. Did it? he just say tot? Here's... have a little yeah, rum. Have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back, your front, your, your front. Everything. everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions, the sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Okay. Well, let's trade, my let's friend. Trade. What do you got? You got telekinesis, which I... Do I have that? I am having a flashback that I need that. That I need some telekinesis. Ooh, and a black pearl. Ooh. I might need that, too. Hmm. Did I... Somebody said something about not selling a pearl necklace that I had. I don't think I have it anymore, so I must have sold it, because... Oh, wait, no, there it is. All right. I will hold on to that, as per requested. Let's throw those up in there. Throw that up in there. Uh, oops, I only need one. Oh, gosh. Ah! All right. A scoop. And what do we have here? We have a thorn mace and a saber. Let's get rid of the saber. A knife. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Well, we could trade that and we can get the telekinesis scroll. How much does that cost? A hundred. Okay. Well, let's go with that. We will trade the items. Yeah. All right. And there was something up there that I needed to be able to get. And that's what I needed the telekinesis scroll for. <laughs> and yes, see, remembering vague, small little details will one day be very useful to you. Come to me, large gold bowl. <laughs> and I'm totally going to ninja the stuff out of Jack's uh, chest here, too. Ooh, piercing protection. That's pretty amazing. A really good ring, considering I'm not a sneaky person right now. I will remove my sneak ring, and then I will be able to not get murdered or mauled. I don't remember why there's a thing up there, but there is. All right. Well, we want to be more protected, unless, uh, but we want axe fighting as well. There we go. So we can't sneak anymore, but. Boy, oh boy, are we protected against blades. Alright, well, I don't want to talk to the, uh, the hoe master yet. Or I guess she's a female. So the hoe mistress yet, but, eh, we'll see. Rodriguez. Alright, back up to the top of town, and we'll start over there babbling to a few different folks, and see what's going on. We know that he wants us to, uh sell the uh, ship 
thing. Hey, you know Jack might actually buy the ship then. Hmm. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to steal your berry. Deal with it. Guard. Costa. He's a douche, I remember. Don't remember why. Fuller's kind of a meh guy. Sebastian, no, but this guy is like sneaky sneaky. Delgado. You're new here, right? Yeah. I let you in. Huh? Yes. I'm from outside. You're breaking the Inquisitor's new laws. You know that. Yeah, you I do. Be more careful. You tell the wrong people, you could get yourself in trouble. <gasps> You've had trouble with the law. Ha! <laughs> the law is just an excuse to lock us all in the town. The Order wants to loot the ruins in peace. Once they've taken the last crumb of gold out of the ruins, they'll let us out again. Don Esteban figured that out right away. Nice. Why are you in the town and not in the swamp? Simple. The Don doesn't let go of things that belong to him. Some of us are keeping business going here. Nice. Until the Inquisition move on. Or we take the town back. Okay. What's the order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. All right, Sebastian. Sounds like you could use some help. Yeah, I could. we could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. That's not good. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. Nice. I like slices. What are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Uh. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word huh. to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the order. Creepy. Very, very creepy analogy. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So, what do you need doing? Since the order has been here... He hasn't paid his dues to the Don. All right. Hired himself a bodyguard, he has, and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. Hmm. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? That's a good Someone question, needs man. To make sure we get paid. That's right. And I'm just the man for the job. Bane! Where are they? Alright, so let's see here. I'll get your gold. What business do you do? I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. Yeah, it but is. It won't be easy. No, it won't. Costa won't pay voluntarily. It's okay. I'll break off At my least, foot in his behind. Not now. He's got himself a bodyguard. A bodyguard. Not the bodyguard. All right. How should I get the gold? How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. That's not very nice. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. Ooh, but don't shiny. kill him. Oh. No point killing the golden goose. Come on. And it will get the Inquisition on our backs. Fine. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. <sighs> Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. Simple. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Fine. Try to provoke them one at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, you'll have problems with the guards. Okay. Fair enough. And how much does how Costa, much does Costa owe? owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. All right. You can keep half. Ooh, that's profitable. What business do you do? Anything that brings gold. Gold's the only way we can challenge the Order and the Warriors, isn't it? Taking the town back is what it's all about. We control the town, we control the island. For now, though, the Inquisitor and Commandant Carlos are in charge. So what's your step? All right. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Yeah, 
about Tell that? Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's Sounds like a matter of job. time before he pisses enough people off. Bonus. All right, Delgado. What's up, buddy? The Cato. All right. So where is your bodyguard, man? Huh, huh, huh. Where is he? I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. Hello. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. All right. Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not Ooh. paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Police. What do you think I pay Fuller for? Oh, Fuller's Delgado's though. not okay. getting another coin out of me. What do you sell? What do you sell? Weapons, Ooh. potions, jewelry, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Cheese danishes? Yes, no, no. Nothing on the cheese danishes. All right, fine. All right, okay. Hmm. Let's trade. Let's trade. Just want to see. Oh, okay. Because I could have been here first and gotten some better armor immediately. Well, there is that. I don't think I have a smith's hammer yet, do I? No, it doesn't look like it. How expensive is that? That's not overwhelmingly expensive. Tongs, goldsmith's hammer. Let's get all of that stuff. Ooh, it's Cole's hunting bow. That's pretty decent. And a machete. And a wooden shield. And a little mouse in a maze named Algernon. No, that's, that's not it. Alright, um... How much money? Ooh, 90. 90 coins! Good gravy! Good God! Alright, that's fine. Let's, um... We already sold everything, so we're just gonna take a hit on this. Alright. Give me that. Alright, I'll be back. I'm gonna go rough up Fuller first. Where'd he go? Is he sweeping? Fuller, really? You're gonna hey, sweep. Do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. To kip? Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? To kip? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business. I just bring the muscle. Why is muscle Why needed? Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip? Or anyone who wants to play silly buggers? Oh, I want to play silly buggers? Let's do this. So, you're paid muscle. Alright. Better than an unpaid muscle. That's what she said. Wah. Come on, then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You want to fight me? Here? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Come on, Sissy. Let's go. I'll bring it. Sure. Why not? You're sweeping, Don't dude. Anything better to do. Let's get this oh, over crap. with. Well, he's just like. Argh! Nope. And down you are. Sir, there you go. And I am going to loot all of your stuff because I am a dirty, dirty butt guy. Alright. So you won't pay. Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know. I don't know. Your boy's got beat. Enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. Do so, they? No payment. And uh, yes, that is my final say. All right. Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! I've already dealt with him. Yeah, I did. Fuller, worthless sack of bones. Bring it on. You want to make things personal? You want it, you come and take okay, it. Hey, but I have an itch. Oh, oh I have an itch. Don't attack me. I'm delicate. I'm not really delicate. He's going to wish he was delicate. Let's do me a favor, mate. And don't let Costa know you can fight like that. Or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him. Or are we going to have another problem? Tee no. I might be paid for muscle. No! But that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. You... You ruined my looting habits, you... Bum. You're nothing but a lousy thug. You got that right. That hurt, but I'm still not giving you any of my gold. Alright. Give me Delgado's gold. Well, 
I'm not gonna give you the gold. But I will give you something. Hey, 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 hey. Keep it in your... Oh, oh, gosh. Ow. Please don't talk to me again this time, guy. There we go. He hit me? How dareth he hit me? Alright, where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? Where's the money? Purse. It was a bulging with gold. 300! What? I totally don't want to go pay the Don back, but it's okay. I heard the Don's You're man. Nothing but a lousy thug. Yeah. To gloat, have mm -hmm. you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. Honest, I really? I warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. Yep, that was easy. Alright. Well, I'll babble to you later. Not just yet, I imagine this guy's gonna come babble to me. Wait, yep. I saw you talking to Delgado. Do you deny it? No. And who are you? I am Sebastian, a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. And you want to be careful who you get involved with. What do you know about Delgado? Okay. He's one of Don Esteban's men. Ruthless, a lot of them. They steal, lie, and extort. Bonus. Steer clear of them. So they don't do it to me. I'm happy. What are you doing about the Don's people? Inside the town, cornering them like rats in a burrow. Creepy. Outside the town, the Inquisitor is slowly choking them, starving them of men, of gold, of food. Commandant Carlos will see the town is cleared of the Don's influence. Then those left in the swamp will just wither and die. We'll finish Delgado, and the Don will follow. Huh. Alright guys, I guess I'll continue my lovely conversation with my boy here in just a moment's time. But for now we're going to break off the episode. And, well, we've started to do a little something something going on here in uh, Harbor Town. We beat up some fools, stole some money... It's looking pretty good. I say we're having a pretty good go of things in the town. We also stole Jack's treasure and got a golden bowl. So, in all, not too, too bad. Alright guys, I will catch you next time with more Risen. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>